What is up guys? So I tried to film a video yesterday and it was kind of a flop. I got a few things done but nothing crazy. So yesterday I was able to make a basically little delete plate for the holes in my firewall for my air conditioner. So I want to show you guys that one because I thought it came out pretty good. So we're going to go back in past about 24 hours right now. So you're honestly supposed to cut aluminum with like a metal saw blade. All I have is a cutting wheel, so this is gonna suck, but it's all I got, so we're gonna make it work. I cut this thing super crude. Definitely did not come out nice, but that's because I'm using a freaking angle grinder to cut this, and that's just not the right tool. So now I'm just gonna grind this away until it's in a nice, you know, shape like this. Alright, so it didn't come out amazing, it's not like perfectly symmetrical or anything, but I'm happy with it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up, and I think I'm going to give it a brush finish. Because I'm, I'm feeling the brush finish, so we're going to try that. I was making good progress and I realized I had to drill a hole and it kind of, you know, ruined the surface, so back to work. There's still like a little bit of imperfections in it, but I can, I can live with that. I'm happy with it. I essentially just got like 180 grit and just kept going in one direction. I hit it with some like quick metal polish too to clean it up. Wavy got me this for my birthday. But now I'm going to send it with some clear coat. The clear coat's probably going to dull it out just a little bit, but if you don't clear coat aluminum, you have to basically keep up polishing it every couple weeks. And it's cool for rims and stuff, but this is something that's gonna be in the engine bay I don't really feel like touching, so. So, that's my AC plate. I hope you guys liked it. I gotta put it in today. And yesterday I was able to get my steering rack in and I put a new bushing in the steering shaft, which I'll show you right now, back in the past. So I clear coated the part right here and as that dries, I'm gonna be working on the steering shaft now. So this is the steering shaft, well, half of it. So this is the part that goes into the steering rack, and then this is where the bushing sits, as you can see it. Better reference. This bolt's right here. And so this bushing right here, it's basically to help dampen the steering. Now, they're, they're usually rubber from the factory, so they become dry rotted, they get worn out and they're a pain in the ass to change when it's in the car. It's absolutely miserable. So while, whenever you have the chance like this, you should take to replace it. Now they sell metal ones for cheap. I actually decided to get a rubber one again because the metal one actually has a pretty harsh feel to it. It's not, it's not bad. Like if you had a drift car, I wouldn't mind it, but since this is gonna be aiming for a more comfortable drift car, I decided to go with like an OEM style with rubber, and this one's made by GK Tech. So let's take this one apart. So you guys might be able to see it, but this thing's cracked basically in four different places. You see that? So it's still nice and stiff, but it definitely was on its way out. So I'm happy we're replacing it now with the new new. This thing's pretty crusted out. I think I'm gonna paint it really quick before we put it in the bay. So yeah, there's that, that's all good. And on top of that, to put my AC little delete plate that I made right here, um, I need to basically have a rubber backing to it so it sits flush on the firewall and it creates a nice seal. So I'm gonna go to Lowe's and get something that'll work for that. Except with the front row. Best spot in the world. All right, so we have found ourselves in the flooring section in Lowe's. We're gonna do the bathroom. She, she wants to, but so for small cuts of rubber, I never know where to get it, but I have luck at Lowe's because they have the trim for like your floors. Like, well, here, I guess this will show it better. So there we go. Right here. This is like, what? How would you, floor trim? I don't know. Like between wall trim. Rooms, right? 
No, this is like, goes on the wall and, and seals it like this. Here you go, vinyl wall base. <laughs> That's what I was trying to explain. Let's take our rubber that we got from Lowe's and cut it up into the shape of the delete plate. Beautiful. And I'm pretty happy with it. I like the brushed aluminum. It looks pretty classy. I might color match it. It might look a little bit cleaner because it sticks out a lot, but when the engine's in, I don't think you'll see it too much, but. All right, so the next couple days are gonna be pretty slow because the big parts don't come in until early next week. So my trans adapter and my engine mounts come in early next week, which means Hopefully mid next week we can get the engine in, which is sick, because once the engine's in, it won't take too much to get it running if my wire harness actually works out correctly. So that's good. This winter has been kill the winter has been killing me already because it's so cold. There's nothing to really do outside besides stay in the garage. So if anyone has any content they want to see, let me know. I'm dying for some ideas because I hate going a few days without a video, but I'm kind of tapped out on Z stuff for now. Um, plus I'll give Tommy some time to catch up. So. Um, some cool news though, I actually set up a P.O. box today, so to help break in the new shop, I want to get a like big board, I want to get like a big, you know, 4x8 board and basically put everyone's slaps on it. So I'm going to put my P.O. box in the description. If you guys have any like, you know, your own personal slaps for, I don't know, for yourself, for your group of friends or your company or whatever, feel free to send some to the P.O. box. I'm going to basically make a big wall from I think it would be really cool. Um, if you're gonna send some, send two, because I'd love to keep some for myself too, instead of just putting it on the board. <laughs> but, and if anyone else wants to send some stupid wacky stuff, the address is there, I think will be a good time unboxing all this stuff, so. Thank you very much, but, yeah. Let's figure out something to do today. So let's move on to some more random stuff that Z still needs. On the left side of the car, right here, as you can see that line that's hanging on the ground right there, is the brake line, it comes from the rear, and it goes all up and on the frame rail like this and it's ugly it's really ugly so unnecessary so what I did was I went to advanced and picked up one of these like pre-cut lengths it's like I think it's three feet with the ends both on it and I'm gonna make this one sit a lot nicer I can't find my brake line bender, but that's okay. I'm gonna try to do it by hand, and hopefully I don't kink the line, hopefully it doesn't look like shit. So, let's try it. It doesn't look bad, it doesn't look good, it just looks half-ass. I don't like it. I think what I'm gonna do is just go underneath the frame rail and the wheel well and come in. It won't get in the way of anything. I don't like this, I think this looks shitty. All right, so I got a little carried away and I ended up just kind of banging it out. So I wrapped it underneath the frame rail, right there. We have it come up, secured up and then into the factory location. This is in a safe spot and of course this is too because it's in the factory location that's behind all the strut stuff so we're all good. It's a little half-ass looking but I'm happy with it. I mean the next best thing would have been to actually remove this little fitting right here and just run it literally underneath the frame rolling through but I think this lo looks great. It's sturdy, it holds the factory location. I'm happy with that. So the next little addition I think we should add while the car is all apart is to paint the front calipers. Now, now the Z32 comes with some pretty good looking calipers, at least I think so. They're very symmetrical, they got a nice Nissan logo and they're nice looking. So I think it'd be good to shine some light to them. Couldn't really decide what color to make them, but I think you can never go wrong with red. So I got some red engine paint now. The engine paint is basically the same thing as the caliper paint. It's just a high temp ceramic like paint. And I think we'll be all set. I've personally never done with a spray can before, so I'm a little hesitant to see how it comes out. If it comes out like crap, whatever, we can always just redo them. The best thing to do would just be to powder coat them, and I would love to do that, but then 
I have to do new seals and have to rebuild them and it's a whole process which I don't really feel like getting into but I think we can make them work with just the can. So now is the fun part of cleaning the crap out of these. The better you clean it, the better the paint's gonna stick. The better the paint sticks, the longer it's gonna last and the better it's gonna look. So, let's get to work. All right, so I was trying to figure out how to cover the pistons, and I think cardboard was definitely the best option. Now, they're not like fully covered, but if I get a little paint on them, it's not really a big deal. So, I think that was a pretty sneaky move though. Like, it works pretty good. So, so we'll take them up and spray them, I guess. All right, we gotta warm these boys up. It's about 25 degrees outside right now, and paint does not like to stick to cold metal. This stuff sprays on like really, really nice. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm gonna do one more coat after about 20 minutes of this drying and think we should be all set. So I just did the second coat and the caliper should be all set. I'm really, really impressed with this paint if I could find it. It sprays and lays like really, really nice and it feels pretty strong. I was kind of hoping for a darker shade of red, but I think these will look good regardless. I don't know if I'm gonna put them on today because I want them to fully cure and I don't want to like, you know, scratch them up by putting them on, so. You know what, I really appreciate you guys literally watching me just paint random parts for like the last four videos, but honestly, that's what it takes to get your car looking fresh and together. It's all about making little creative moves and making sure stuff looks fresh. So, the only thing that sucks is on the S13, as you can see, the Nissan logo, I sand it off and it looks like really, really nice. These, on the other hand, since they're iron, if I do that, they're just gonna rust and look like asshole. So I might just take a pen and fill the Nissan logo in black or not, I'd probably make it look worse, so. You guys can tell, it's really tedious to build a car and it's really the little stuff that really starts to add up, so. But with that, I'm gonna call it a day. But remember guys, I just got the PO box, so if you guys wanna send some stickers for the walls or it's just some funny random stuff, I'll put that in the description. So I'm gonna call it a night. It is freezing, I'm gonna go home. And you guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content, and I'll probably see you tomorrow.